All right, so this video is about uh, Windows 11. I'm updating it right now, you can see. So I just wanted to make a quick video. So apparently in this update, uh, they have uh, brought back the option to untile these you know these bundles when you when you have opened more than one uh, window of the same program they get bundled together I hate that because each time you have to go do that uh, hover over it and it will show you different tiles and then you click on it so it's like count counterproductive uh, that is the reason that I never upgraded uh, to Windows 11 I wanted to I wanted to try never I haven't used Windows for uh, Windows 11 uh, maybe all in all together maybe a couple of hours that's it just like here and there uh, never paid it any serious intention and it's been out for close to two years now finally I uh, in May they decide that they will roll out and I was just looking into it and see if that uh, is the case uh, it's gonna show up in task behaviors and somewhere here uh, so you see these are the options right now uh, let me begin make it bigger so these are the options right now task bar related behavior so it should show up somewhere here after the update uh, it's a rolling base uh, uh, meaning that it's not uh, going to be it's a hit and miss at this point like uh, last night I uh, updated my son's uh, computer it did not show up there so it's it's just like uh, you have to wait for it and eventually you will get the one thing I did notice in this machine is that it did ask me if I want all the latest update uh, non-security related updates uh, I would like to and I said yeah why not I'm not sure if that is not the case on my son's uh, computer so I'm gonna pause the video here it's been it's a 35 percent so once it's done then I will um, unpause the video one more thing you can see it's a virtual machine on my Proxmox uh, so it's uh, an it's an evaluation copy the Proxmox it's it's working fine I like yeah, if I you can see that's just a slight lag and I don't believe that has a uh, it's the hardware I think it's the a the image I am being uh, getting because this uh, I'm in a browser window so obviously that machine has to push the image uh, like a graphic video feed to this browser I think that that's the lag otherwise if I can show you uh, it's uh, I have given it uh, 8 GB of RAM and 8 virtual um, CPUs the one thing that I have realized or learned is that it doesn't matter how much RAM you throw at Windows 11 it will go ahead and consume all of it my son's P the PC has 32, G 32 GB and he, Windows 11 is just using 90% of it I can show you uh, same thing here it's it's using 80 plus percent so that's why I just gave it 8 GB I like I'm not gonna do any real productive work on it it's gonna be just trial and error talking here making video so AGB on a virtual machine is uh, okay right now all right enough talking let's pause all right so it's installed pending restart so let's restart now the boot up on this Proxmox is super fast uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with the uh, Ryzen 9 because uh, my mini PC is uh, running a Ryzen 9 that I'm um, using as a server and install Proxmox on it uh, this update yeah it's gonna take time so let's pause it here so literally it was less than a minute and it's already it went up to 20% uh, to be fair 
and then it's a restarting oh, okay you're back at seven percent so uh, I'm gonna pause make let it uh, go to the login screen before resuming the video all right so it's at the login screen let's log in Let's see. Now taskbar behavior. I'm gonna nope. So just like the other, it's not here yet. We'll continue to look at it. So let's move the start menu to the left all right so this this is it uh, you can see this Windows 11 is updatable on a Ryzen 9 TPM so uh, it's good uh, let's wrap this video here. I hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one